Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a checkout page in WooCommerce using the JetWoo Page Builder plugin from Crocoblock. So if you haven't checked out, I made a couple of videos already on this matter, on this topic. And um, what we have been doing so far is I've set up this demo website and I made a listing, a small custom listing. We made the uh, specific uh, uh, the specific product uh, page, and we also made the shop page already, along with the uh, let's see with the cart page as well. So here it is. This is the cart page. What we're gonna focus on right now is the checkout page. It looks like this, which is not really that nice, but don't worry about it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set it up properly and how to make it look very nice. So stay tuned. Okay, so we are in the dashboard of the demo web shop right now. And the first thing we wanna, wanna, what you wanna do is go to CrocoBlock and click on Woo Page Builder. We're gonna wait for it. And we, you can see we already made some uh, templates if you checked out the previous videos but we're gonna click on create new template and we're gonna set checkout and I'm gonna call this checkout which is fine so let's create the template and let's see what we will get let's wait for this to load up there we go we have an empty page so let's set let's see check some settings the template layout is a, a default and we want it to be a full width if it is a full width, we do not need to hide the title because it's not going to be there. So I'm going to save the draft and I'm going to reload the page so it will become a full width page. This is so we don't have any margin or padding on the left or on the right, you know, the bars with a default width. Now it's just going to be a full width. All right. So let's see, what do we have on a uh, checkout page? We're not going to ask for a coupon because we already have the option in the cards page, as you can see, view cards you can already see that we can enter a coupon here, which we are not gonna do. So what else do we wanna have here? We want to have the billing details. We want to have additional information if someone wants to go and do this. We want to review our order and we want to see our uh, payment methods being set up correctly. So let's go ahead and do this. What are we going to need? I'm gonna need a two column section right here and let's put it at a minimum height of 400, which is fine for now. And let's give this some padding uh, margin. I mean, sorry. There we go. 80 is fine. All right. So the billing details, if we click on the nine dots at the top corner right here, you can already see a couple of things that pop up. We see additional form, coupon, uh, billing form, checkout, login, blah, blah, blah. What we want to start with is, is the checkout billing form. So we're going to drag it in here. And we automatically get the same result as we have on the default page. The thing is, however, we can style this heavily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to our card page and kind of peek from there to see what styling we've done. So let's see, what do we want? I want to be the fields to have this color and it's not, yeah, it's going to look kind of modern. So I'm going to, copy this color which is EF 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 if you are wondering and I'm gonna go to styling so the heading um, what we can do is we can either change this so I can for example say Montserrat we can also make the size zero and add our own heading if you want that I'm not gonna do it because I kind of think billing details is fine for now. So I'm going to put this at 600 and make the color a dark blue one or just the blue one that we have globally set up. And I'm going to go to the labels and I'm going to change the font to Montserrat as well uh, and make it a little bit more in weight. There we go. And the, I don't know how to pronounce this, asterisk, I think it is. I'm Dutch, so I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna give this a blue color as well. So it's not red, it kind of looks a bit more uh, appealing to the eye. All right, so the label is fine. So let's take a look at the fields. Uh, the typography of the fields is also gonna be Montserrat, but I'm gonna put the weight at 400 because if we're gonna type something, it should not be that. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, that, that heavily that heavy the font shouldn't be as heavy so the background color is gonna be the 
uh, EF, EF, EF that we set with a hashtag, obviously. And then we can see the border type none. I'm gonna put this, uh, solid with zero. So it kind of looks like this, which is amazing if you ask me. This looks completely fine. I'm not gonna worry too much about this. Um, uh, this is for styling, this looks, uh, looks great to me. Right, great, let's see. Uh, let's put some uh, spacing here in the top. So instead of, I wanna put some padding of, let's say seven, uh, maybe four. Four is fine. All right, what else do we have? We have the additional information, which is uh, what we wanna add. We're gonna, we can search for it, but we can also just uh, drag it in from here, which is the checkout additional form. That's the one we want. Now, as you can see, it's not really aligned correctly. So I'm gonna select the section and I'm gonna say layout, column position, top. And that is amazing. So the heading, uh, I'm not gonna touch that. What I do wanna touch is the, uh, the color of this uh, asterisk to make it blue. And I'm gonna say the fields, the background color is gonna be the copied color and I'm gonna say typography now I'm gonna say the port type is solid with zero so it kind of looks like this right so the typography is gonna be Montserrat Montserrat there we go and uh, let's put the label at Montserrat as well because that's the order no it's optional Montserrat as you can see and let's make this 600 Let's put it at 500. There we go, that's amazing. 500. Yeah. All right, great. Now I don't like that it's not really aligned with this form right here with this input field. So I'm gonna add in a spacer. I'm gonna drag it on top of here and add the spacing 45 pixels perhaps. That's still too much. 40, 35, 37. 38 is fine for now. I think this looks great. Yeah, that's better. All right, so what else do we wanna have? Uh, we can also see the order that we placed. Well, this is a small website, so I'm gonna keep it really small as well. So I'm gonna put in the, um, uh, let's see, check out order review. I'm gonna drag it below this one. So we have like this, your order now also, we're gonna put this at Montserrat. There we go. Let's put this at 500. All right, that's the typography of the heading. The color, let's just make it black. There you go. Or maybe blue. Yeah, let's make it blue, you know. Uh, table heading, let's put the background color at the gray. Well, the border type is gonna be solid with zero. Now, um, now, let's put it at one actually, and let's make the color white. That looks really great. Let's put the typography at Montserrat. There we go, kind of great. Let's put it at 600. All right, color black is fine. This is all fine. So now let's go to table cell. Let's do the same thing here. So we're gonna put Montserrat, there we go. Color is fine, uh, background color, we also want to have this grayish color, as you can see, but the border type solid one and a white. And now we have this amazing field. Let's take a look at the price and we're also gonna put Montserrat for the price, Montserrat for the price, and the currency should also be Montserrat, not that it matters too much. Let's see what we can do with the color. Mm, no, that's not what I want. This one perhaps, no, let's just keep this at default. All right, so that is what we have so far. This looks really great to me. Okay, let's see what else do we need. We need the payment information, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the checkout payment. So let's put it below here. And there it goes. Now we don't have any payment options available yet, um, but that doesn't matter. We can still go ahead and use this. The only thing I'm gonna do here 
is select select the items to be the font of Montserrat. And I'm not gonna change too much about this. So let's, let's pick description and set this to Montserrat as well. Let's just change everything to Montserrat. And the button is something that I do want to change. Let's put this at 400. Let's make the background type of the blue color with a border radius of zero. So it kind of looks like this, which is better. All right, and the info box, we can set the links to be this blue color as well. And we can put the font to Montserrat. So now it looks like this, which is amazing. So now our checkout form looks like this, which is much better from the original ugly one that we had. So now we only need one thing to do. Let me add some padding to the bottom as well. So four EMs at the bottom, that is better. So I'm gonna click on publish. Now the thing is, if we go ahead and we go to our web shop and we go and try to check out. So let's go to view cart and check out. You can see that it's not applied yet. We still need to apply it. Now, how do we do this? It's really easy. We go to the dashboard, we go to WooCommerce, and then we click on settings. From settings, we're gonna go ahead and click on the JetWoo Builder. There, we can see the checkout form right here. Checkout, custom checkout, enable. And the checkout page is gonna be the checkout template that we just created. So let's save the changes and see what happens. So let's go to check out, let's see what happens. And there we have it, we have our checkout page. It looks really nice, just the way as we want it and the way that we have designed it. And if we place the order, it's going to bring, uh, now it's gonna give an error because we don't have any payment. But if we did, we would have a thank you page. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, I've showed you how to customize your um, uh, checkout page. If you, yeah, you, you know, you can go ahead and do your own uh, customization, but this is the way to do it with the uh, CrocoBlock JetWoo Builder plugin. In the next video, we are gonna talk about a login screen and a register uh, uh, screen. How can you make this? How, how can you make it look really nicely with JetWoo uh, uh, Page Builder as well? And other than that, we're also going to take a look at the thank you page, which is also uh, the last step in this process. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next one. So bye bye.